What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. First and foremost, let me thank everyone for the birthday wishes yesterday. Unfortunately, haven't been able to respond to a lot of comments. If you can't hear my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather, but I'm sure I'll be able to get things turned around. But I still wanted to put out a video. I want to talk about a lot of the comments I've seen about where Chantal's channel is going to go from here and how her audience is going to receive that content given her continued health diagnosis. I say continued because this isn't the first time she's been diagnosed with it. Obviously, bringing up her grandmother yesterday in light of a lot of people realizing that rather than going to be with her grandmother, she was clearly spending time with Natter. A lot of these storylines repeat themselves, but she comes back to the same rationale of wanting people to feel sorry for her. Now, I've covered Cooking with Jack a couple times on my channel. You can see the videos he was making before he had his health crisis. And these health crises go back 10 years. He's actually had four strokes in the last decade. And he used that stroke to capitalize on his channel, recovery, documenting his hospital stay. And of course, that does generate income because people do have an interest in seeing how someone is going to recover from these situations. Now, in this case, Jack still doesn't have total control of his arm. And he does have to have his wife help when making content. But you can go back and you can look at where he is just even in the last week. Making peach cobbler, making chocolate cookies. But let's go back seven months. And let's look at the comments on the video where he documented his recovery. And I want you to ask yourself if these comments here don't ring true with what you're seeing people say to Chantal currently. You know, it's going to save your life. Focus on your weight and your health. This might be your last chance to reassess your lifestyle. Healthy people don't have four strokes over the course of a decade. So those are very well-liked comments, by the way. 840 likes is significant. If you look at the end of my videos here and you look at the top comments, generally 100, 150 plus will do it. 840 is significant. So what did Jack do after this stroke? Well... He continued his Jack on the Go series where they go out and review restaurants, eating at Firehouse to get the triple stack sub, having a pizza wars where he goes to local restaurants and rates their pizzas, and of course has the best cheesesteak in town. From there, he went back out to a new restaurant that was opening to get another cheesesteak, Japanese food, Chinese food, Americanized culture-based foods, Pita Pocket. And then obviously a two-part series where they go out to another local restaurant. From there, more recently, it's been Arby's, the Nashville chicken sandwich from Hardee's. Sound familiar? And of course, when he went back to California, he filmed a trio of videos comparing pizza, tacos, and other foods. These videos were obviously met with harsh criticism from the community, but also people that were willing to kind of troll him. So when you look at these comments seven months ago on those initial videos, you see people say, listen, meat's a great way to recover from your issues. Don't worry about what the haters say. This is like watching a guy drink after a liver transplant. Do you feel like all of those sentiments can easily align with people saying those things to Chantal modern day? You go back to one of his first videos where he makes this extremely cheesy mushroom and steak casserole. The first comment, this guy is never going to learn. You also have people coming and saying, listen, it doesn't seem like you're prioritizing your health. And that's sad. When I went back and I looked at these videos, but more importantly, when I looked at the comments, I was really overwhelmed by if you just took Chantal's videos and put these comments on them, would you know that someone had done that? I think there's a lot of people that look more recently, because she is projecting this new audience, that see someone that constantly comes online, talks about the state of their health, what they need to do, what they should be doing, what their plans are, what their goals are. And there's such a stark contrast from day to day, week to week. You know, a couple weeks ago, we were against medication. We were going to have a month of our hardest trying ever. And then two weeks later, we were off war medication, and we were going to do everything we could to get back on track. And the first day, we can't have honesty. The first day, we can't have success, 
right? What happened to that vegan spaghetti that she got? We never found out. That's where accountability comes in, right? Chantal is constantly coming online and saying, yes, hold me accountable. Watch my content. I need interaction. I need engagement. Yet when it comes down to it, she's not willing to do that, right? Because it's easier to sit there, to be honest. It's easier to sit there and complain about what's going on in your life than it is to actually get up and make positive changes. And to that point, when you go to her channel, if you haven't noticed, YouTube now has a way of kind of putting like for you in the video section where it's older videos. And I don't know if any of you have experienced this or not, but I've went to her channel a couple times and I've seen without looking at the date videos. And I thought to myself, this must have just been put up. And I mean, it's, you know, mukbangs. It's massive amounts of food. In some cases, it's the videos that are two or three years old that have significant amounts of views. And I think that's really where Chantal got in trouble. You know, what she was doing three years ago is so different than what she's doing now. You know, if you go back and you look at this, you know, Little Caesars Pizza video. Now, granted, you could tell right away that this isn't from the modern channel because, you know, Right now, she's not wearing the hijab. But at the same time, you could easily make the case of, why was this video getting 60, 70,000 views when her current videos aren't getting it? And you can also go back and see, you know, the sub for lunch. Where did that actually fall into the scheme of things, right? When she talks about not trolling, just struggling, was she not aware that that struggle in that moment actually made things much, much worse for her? Because I think we all know that's what happened. It's almost like she's trying to recapture something on her channel that she's just never going to find. And at the same time, you know, we've seen what multiple years of doing this has done to her body. It's truly taken a toll. I mean, she's lost organs over this. And she's just trying to go through the same cycles to get the result that she's probably never going to get again. And right now you have so many people that are willing to sit there and look at what's going on and say, Chantal, this channel is not worth your health. But she is sitting there and saying, yes, it is. I would close this by saying, just like with Jack, you have to wonder, how prepared are these people to go out in the real world? How prepared are either of them to go get a real 9 to 5 job? How are they able to set aside the pride of being a YouTuber and say, YouTube right now isn't healthy for me. YouTube isn't putting me in the best position to be successful and therefore I'm gonna have to remove it from my life to get my life back on track because sometimes a life lived online is not the best depiction of living your life. Chantal is in a position where she needs to eat every day. Yes, most of us are. But at the same time, she's found a way to monetize that eating and that has created a problem between her, the camera, YouTube, and the viewer. Because now the viewers see all that eating was actually hurting her. And even though she admitted it in the last couple of months, it doesn't look like she's willing to actually sit down and make those hard changes. And I'm not saying those hard changes as far as actually not eating all the food. I'm talking about the last four days of where... We haven't totally been transparent in making that vlog every single day of here's me getting my life back on track. Here's me getting my health in order. Here's what I ate today. Here's a way in. Here's accountability. That is what I said from day one would get Chantal views. And unfortunately, she's just not doing it. I'm going to leave you with the top comments from the last video. Appreciate you watching this one as well. Again, as all those birthday wishes. And I will be back as soon as I can with more content.